Hello, I am Dr. Gaurav Lutra. Welcome to my life page. Today we are going to talk about eye surgery. So before that, uh, let me give you a brief introduction about myself. I was uh, born and brought up in Dehradun and I did my schooling in St. Joseph's Academy, Dehradun and uh, went on to do my medicine in uh, Mulan Azad Medical College, New Delhi, followed by my post-graduation at the same college as well and uh, eventually came back to settle down in Dehradun in 1998 uh, after finishing all my studies. I have been practicing eye surgery since 1995. Now an eye surgeon uh, is, is a specialist uh, surgeon who does uh, post graduation in eye surgery after becoming a doctor that is an MBBS and uh, eye surgeons can be of various kinds uh, so you can uh, once you become an eye surgeon you can go on to become various kinds of specialized eye surgeons as well. Now, eye surgeons essentially will be doing surgery upon the human eye. Biology is one of the most uh, basic and important uh, aspects of uh, education for an eye surgeon. If you identify yourself as uh, being good with biology, you would probably enjoy being an eye surgeon as well. So, if you can empathize with your patient, you can really treat the patient well and uh, you will have more satisfied patients and you will be a satisfied doctor as well. So being able to empathize with others who are in uh, some form of uh, trouble or who are in, who need empathy would be a very, very important uh, aspect. So I would definitely feel that somebody who cannot empathize is not going to make a good eye surgeon. And the first among them would probably be work satisfaction. When you're an eye surgeon, you get you have the chance of making a difference to somebody's life. You can give them the gift of sight. And that probably gives you the biggest satisfaction that any other uh, form of uh, uh, occupation would be able to give you. So I feel that it's such a satisfying branch because you can make a huge difference to maybe an elderly man's life who could not see till yesterday and tomorrow after surgery he starts seeing or to a young uh, person who was aspiring to be joining the army and was not able to make it because of his glasses and uh, you could uh, suddenly give him six by six vision and um, make a difference in his life by allowing him to go and fulfill his dream and just like that uh, maybe a young girl who aspires to get married and finds glasses to be an obstacle in her uh, matrimonial prospects and you can make a huge difference and uh, allow them to uh, you know pursue their um, life as well. So I think uh, it's a very, very uh, satisfying field to be in. Uh, there is very equipment intensive and investment intensive. So as I said uh, before, technology is an integral part of being an eye surgeon. Now technology always comes at a cost. So industry spends uh, billions of dollars in research uh, when they develop new equipment and they all come at a very huge cost. So from being uh, from an eye surgeon being uh, just equipped with a few small instruments 20 years back today eye surgeons have to be equipped with a huge number of uh, laser surgery equipments and microscopes and devices plus huge infrastructure costs so it is amongst the most intensive fields you know, in medicine as far as investments go wake up in the morning at about 6:30 and uh, first thing for me is to go for a game of tennis which uh, is one of my passions and uh, I usually play tennis from about 7 to 8 a.m., come back home, do some of my uh, office, I mean my uh, work which would include uh, answering emails and uh, setting my priorities for the day, you know, maybe transferring some kind of, uh, you know, uh, day, the day's plan to my staff in the hospital on email or on their uh, messaging systems and uh, ending up uh, with, uh, you know, having my breakfast, getting ready and reaching work by about 10 a.m. And uh, once I'm into the hospital, the day takes off even before I walk into my chamber right from the time you reach your parking lot you could be uh, caught up by the staff or maybe some patient who's been waiting to catch you and once you uh, get into your uh, uh, the OPD uh, life just takes off and uh, you don't know how time flies and before I know it uh, seeing my patients and you know handling responsibilities between being a doctor and entrepreneur and, uh, ma and managing my hospital I divide time between all these things. So it's a non-stop process for about six to seven hours where I uh, am rushing through seeing uh, patients and handling uh, emergencies and uh, doing a lot of other uh, hospital related work. And before you know it, you don't feel hungry at all through the day. I usually end up uh, having my lunch only when I 
finish my OPD and my administrative responsibilities by maybe 4.30, 5 o'clock. I don't feel hungry. I don't uh, even feel the urge to have a cup of tea in between because work is so uh, intensive and occupying and enjoyable as, as well. I never feel that work is a pressure for me. Uh, after that, uh, get a short break uh, for about half an hour to an hour where I collect myself and get that brief period of rest because after that comes surgery time for me and I need to be totally relaxed. And uh, so about an hour after uh, I finish my OPDs and have my lunch, I'm all set to go for surgery. Now, being able to help patients with uh, newer and newer techniques of surgery. And uh, usually I finish my day anytime between 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. when I head back home or for my other social obligations. And uh, that's how my day ends. I hope I've been able to give you a balanced view of eye surgery. Thank you.